Saturday, October the 7th. A nice blistery day. I don't know if you can tell. The wind's blowing pretty good, but we're down here in this valley, all protected by the trees. Just fed the goat. Haven't had rain in a couple days, so we're back down to normal flow. And that's what I did this morning before breakfast. That's about still got about 200 pounds on the wagon on the trailer. So there's about 15 or 1800 pounds of rock right there, all nicely laid in. I don't see any fish. They must be up in the deep end. Because they're in there. Anyway, there it is. That's what the brick do. And uh, there's some pretty big stones in there. I put these down here just to kind of show you. I'll uh, put a single layer just kind of right here where this overflow is going to be. I want that to be down. We'll finish digging that. These will be moved and then reset. But that'll be down about 8 or 10 inches right in here. Back out to the old creek bed. And I'm still debating whether I'm going to leave this in a, as a buffer zone. Just put a few stones on that. But yeah, that's how it works. Got the brick in behind it holding the dirt. And I don't have to walk the wall very far. I can step right over here. That's all the stone I got left. But uh, yeah, we put another bucket of dirt down here. It's a backhoe bucket, so it's pretty big. It's like six feet wide and get about 500 pounds of dirt on it. He dumped it right here and I moved it all over here. It's supposed to rain about a quarter inch this evening, so that'll help set this dirt a little bit more. I'm almost up to grade here. I think you can tell there's about six inches right there which is good because I'm going to put about four inches of topsoil on top of this that'll leave me a couple inches below that and uh, then over here I've got to come up a foot and I'm out of brick so I've got to count uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, about 25 brick per line I need uh, a dozen here. I'll get about 75 or 80 more brick and come up that level and one on top of that. And then I'll need a few back over here. I'll have to break it right in here where it drops down about four or five inches and then finish this out over here. But uh, I like the way it's laying. It's a little shallower back over here and then it kind of rolls and gets really steep over here on the wall which is good yeah I got a couple big stones like that one right there that sucker was a monster and then those two down there on the bottom but I thought I want those on the bottom so I don't have to worry about them falling on somebody's feet Well, that's it for this morning. That's it for the weekend because I can't get any more dirt till Monday and I can't get any more brick till Monday. And I don't need any more stone right now. Like I said, I've got about 200 pounds on the trailer, which won't do this. But when I go back, I will literally hand pick what I want to finish this top off. What I'm going to do is once I get the brick up two more levels, get it backfilled here then I'll bring those rock, those stones up and roll them over the top the top here will be lined with stone just to kind of help break the, the dirt hold the dirt back and yeah give it a nice line 
I was going to bring this all straight up, but then I started realizing this this grade back here drops off to that tree, so I'm going to let it taper in right in here, and then as it comes out across, i let it taper to here, and then as it comes up here, it'll flatten out over to the dam. This area back here where I'm standing will be literally flat. I need about two or three inches where I'm standing, and then, uh, like I said, taper out there six more inches deep. And then it'll just kind of flow into the bank. Voila. And this will be all grass. I'll have my bench. I'll take my bench back there. Move it up here. And I can sit on it and fish. Hopefully fish. I'll have to wait and see how the fish do. Well, that's it for today. I'm going to go up and clear a little brush. And mow back into the woods a little bit. Got a little bit of that. I'm going to see if Doug can come down and help me move that stuff. Clean this up a little bit tomorrow. And maybe break up that concrete over there and figure out what I want to do with it. That's all for today. Ooh, it's coming up Halloween.